Everything is Music is a digital trail on mobile, so it allows us to chart the musical and cultural heritage of a location through a digital platform, and people can explore the work we've done by visiting locations on a map. As they arrive, they unlock the story or the content piece that has been placed there in the context that it was meant to be experienced. We have a traditional podcasts which you can go and get in locations, people telling their stories about those locations and what they mean to them. You can go and experience holograms of people talking about those locations on the streets in front of you, archive material on the streets through augmented reality. We also have traditional trails that you can go on where someone will take you on a musical trail through a city. It's their tour, it's their city at that moment. And then more traditional stuff like video content and pictures and imagery as well. So as we take everything's music to different cities around the world, we're obviously going to look to develop the technical experience. A lot of what we've already done, we've kind of looked at and evaluated it, and we think that gamifying the experience is something we really want to look into. So how we can give users feedback on their experience, how we can give rewards, how we can build in prize mechanisms. We're also kind of digging deeper into kind of augmented reality and the types of content that um, we're delivering to people. Bristol and Bath Creative R&D funding has allowed us to explore what this platform can be and what it can't be. It's allowed us to test and fail. It's allowed us to innovate. It's allowed us to work out how we can make it more inclusive. It was great to collaborate on an international level with Everything is Music. Obviously, we focused on Bristol and Bath for the first time around, um, but taking the project to Amsterdam was kind of a really good test bed for us for taking it to a different place. Um, Amsterdam shares a lot of kind of cultural similarities to the UK, so it wasn't completely daunting, but also allowed us to take our platform to a new market, to test it out on people who speak different languages, to try different content uh, pieces on a type of audience. So this is for people who are attending a festival, festival goers. This was a kind of targeted electronic music fan. So we've just finished a project in Amsterdam, and the next steps is to upgrade that to a citywide version in Amsterdam. At the moment it's a light version and then the idea after that is to take it to cities around the world. We'll be going to Manchester and Liverpool as our next target cities and then expand from there. Our end goal is that we embed this in the culture of cities across the world.